So you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between Google Assistant and Google Gemini. Now, I will tell you there is a lot of similarity here, but Google Gemini is probably going to supersede the you know Google Assistant application. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to go through and get the newest and latest and greatest, Google Gemini is the better way to go. But Google Assistant still works. It's still good to go. But Gemini, I would recommend. Now with Google Assistant, the cool thing is, is that this is your assistant application. This is supposed to be like a Google Gemini, Siri, you know, Bixby type of alternative or like the one you can use. So as soon as you invoke it, you'll come into this particular panel. So there's a few different options of kind of working with Google Assistant. So what this will allow you to do is it will basically allow you to talk to it and get, you know, things around your phone or get information about a certain product, set reminders, different things like that. So what I can do is I can be like, what is the biggest country in the world? So I can ask it questions, right? And it can give me a breakdown of exactly what the biggest countries are, you know, per population or per the, you know, how big they are, or whatever the thing is. So you do have that type of capability here. So I don't even know if these are right, maybe they are, but you have this type of capability built right in. And even when you do type in Google Assistant, it tells you to try Gemini right at the very top. So it looks very nice, it looks very good. Now, if I were to do the exact same command on Google Gemini, so first of all, I would probably tell you that the Google Gemini application, I think it looks nicer because it is an actual application versus the Google Assistant when it just comes over your whole entire phone. So I think within the Google Assistant application, you have a much nicer looking one. Now what I can do is I can ask it, what is the biggest country in the world? So I don't even know what the heck I typed in first. What is the biggest country in the world? So you can see right here, it gives me kind of a more conversation of what's going on. So it tells me right here, the biggest country in the world is Russia, and it tells me some other things here and there. So you can see right there kind of what the layout looks like between both. Because the fact that we have this type of layout inside of Google Gemini, I think visually looks better. Although it does bring up the web browser inside of Google Chrome, or inside of your Google Assistant. It is really nice that we have an actual, like, almost like a conversational piece inside of our Google Gemini application. Now, between both, you can ask it bigger, you know, kind of leading questions and from that. So within both, I can ask them both questions, maybe something like, can you tell me more about these countries? And you can see that we can kind of have a conversation about it. So you can see right here, Russia tells me more things about Russia. Inside of this one, you can see that it will basically just go through and kind of just give me more of kind of a search. So if it doesn't know what it is on Google, you know, Assistant, it will basically just search it for you which can be nice, but it is kind of annoying as well because right within Google Gemini, it gives me the same exact information and allows me to have a conversation with it, which is very nice. Now, on top of that, what you can do inside of both, you can search on screen or you can take a screenshot and bring in a photo. You can also type to text on both as well, which is really cool. But I like the fact that Google Gemini is a actual application, whereas on the Google Assistant app, it just covers over the display and is supposed to also give you stuff within the display, like contacts within the display. But I was always a fan of Google Gemini more than I was a fan of Google Assistant. So I think that was another thing to kind of keep in mind there too. Now, I will say within Google Assistant, you know, it's it's nice. You can talk to it and everything like that. But beyond that, there's not really in any, anything crazy going on with Google Assistant that Google Gemini can't do. I truly do feel like if you're going to go through and pick up like some sort of assistant application, I think Google Gemini is probably the better way to go. I like that it's a full-on application. I like that it's so much more context aware. It allows you to have conversations. And because this is the basically the, you know, the newer version of Google Assistant, this is the way I'd probably recommend, you know, every single Android person to go ahead and basically install Google Gemini. It's definitely the future. Google Assistant is going to get deprecated. This is the one I 1 million percent recommend going down with. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.